Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the cleansing balm from Augustinus Beda, a brand that I am a huge fan of. It comes with its own cleansing cloth which is standard with a lot of cleansing balms but still really really nice to have. It comes in its own little cardboard pouch which is really cute as is the way it comes wrapped up in a gorgeous Beta blue bow. Really, really cute touch. We'd expect nothing less from this bougiest of brands, would we? It just comes with a muslin cloth, as is the norm for these types of cleansing balms. It gives that little bit of exfoliation. The packaging is gorgeous. Blue glass and that lovely copper lid looks stunning. We're advised to massage onto dry skin, add water and continue massaging. Rinse well with water and then use that cloth to remove. It looks like this. I think that colour is because it contains coconut oil. It also contains avocado olive oil complex, squalene and vitamin E. So a lot of really nourishing ingredients for the skin. It is fragrance free as is the whole line. I'm just scraping out some of the silky balm there. It does feel really nice. This is what it looks like close up. I'm going to smooth that on to my very heavily made up face. I like to give these cleansing balms a real test when I use them, so I tend to go heavy on the makeup. I've worn a matte lipstick, eyeshadow and a non-tubing mascara to give it a real test and I'm instinctively going in for more there because I had such a heavy face of makeup on, but they do claim you only need a pea-sized amount of the product, so I haven't given it the best test. I gave it a bit of an extra chance there and I'm massaging it into the skin. It feels really, really nice. I have just wet my fingertips there so I am going to emulsify and it does then turn into a milk. It's really really nice to use. I am now going to remove with that cloth. This product is £55 for 90 grams. There we go, it's taking off a lot of that thick face of makeup that I applied. We can see it there all over the cloth. This one is kind of comparable in price to a lot of the other cleansing balms. Similar to the Elemis cleansing balm. The Elemis cleansing balm is slightly more affordable and I would say that's my favourite cleansing balm of all time. Look at what a mess I've made of my pretty white cloth. I can't really compare this in price to the Eve Lom cleanser because they measure it in millilitres but I assume it's comparable. Again, I prefer the Eve Lom because I'm having to apply more balm. I wasn't convinced that that first pass had removed all of the makeup from my face. To be fair, when I'm wearing heavy makeup, I would always double cleanse anyway. So I'm going to give it another go on the skin to make sure I've really, really removed all that makeup. It is described as a solid balm that melts across the skin to easily rinse away impurities and makeup leaving no residue. I would definitely agree with that. When it rinses, it does rinse really clean. It claims to provide a thorough yet gentle cleanse for a radiant and refreshed complexion. And I would agree that my skin did look really almost sparkly after use. It looked really, really great. This dissolves and removes the daily buildup of dirt, oil, and environmental impurities and stubborn makeup. It claims to tone, purify and decongest the skin for a clear and refined complexion. I've just shown you there I'm still removing some makeup on the second pass. It claims to condition and satiate the skin without stripping or disrupting its pH. I would agree with that. My skin felt really comfortable after use. It didn't feel tight at all. It claims to nourish and hydrate for soothed, smooth skin that is glowing with health. My skin did have a glow after use. I'm going in for the third go because I didn't feel convinced that all my makeup was removed. And because of that, I can't recommend this over and above some of my other cleansing balms that I've used. In my opinion, it's not the most powerful balm in my collection. I would recommend the Elemis over that. I would recommend the Eve Lom Cleanser. I would even recommend the Beauty Pie Cleansing Balm. The Apricot one over and above this one because it just wasn't powerful enough for me. So I'm going in to rinse it off there. 
As you can see, I'm still taking off eye makeup. I'm not too impressed, to be honest. It's just not powerful enough for me. 100% in their user trial did agree that it effortlessly removed makeup and grime. I wouldn't say there was anything effortless about that after three goes. I don't think I'd repurchase. I will link my video dedicated to cleansing balms below, where I'll show you some of my favourites. This one, my overall thoughts are, this is okay. What did you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one.